I'm going to check the toe angle alignment. And the first thing to do that is to measure the track width of both the front and the rear tires. And I've got a, just a laser level here with a laser pointer. And I set it on the edges of the rim. Right, right there. And then I mark on the ground where the laser hits. And I do that for all four tires. Next thing I need to do is measure the width between the front tires and the back tires and see if they're the same. Okay, there's a couple of weaknesses to this method of measuring your alignment. Number one, if your laser level, uh, I've got these spacers on there, if the laser level isn't exactly parallel to the, the contact on your spacers here, so that you can touch the edges of the rim, if you're, if you're not exactly parallel, you'll be off by that many degrees. Way to compensate for that is if you measure back uh, so many feet and then forward so many feet, and draw the line between those two and measure the angles between the left and right side. That'll compensate for uh, a little bit off on your parallelness. The other thing is it doesn't compensate for out of true wheels, you know, so if your wheel is warped, then uh, that, uh, the amount of warpage will affect your measurement uh, accuracy. Measuring the width between the front marks and the back marks, and the front width is one inch wider than my back. I have to go a half inch out on both back marks to get zero degrees. Okay, now I need to take my laser measure, and it's got a maybe bright enough beam to see in the daytime, and I need to find an edge. Um, even edge and where I can uh, hit that measuring tape down there. There we go. I hit it right there. And the spot looks like it's uh, probably at three quarters of an inch out. I was targeting a half inch out for uh, zero toe angle. We'll see if the steering is centered, but that's pretty dang close right on the edges of the rims okay and we're hitting about two and a quarter inches on that tape measure down there okay now it's time for a little math on the back end of the truck we had a uh, left side 2.25 inches out from our mark the right side 0.75 inches out from our mark we were expecting a half inch out as zero degrees. So subtract a half from each of these, you get 1.75 and one, and sorry, 0.25. So the total distance out is two inches. So I've got a triangle 173 on the long leg and two inches on the short leg. And since it's a very small angle, I don't care which side is 90 degrees because at very small angles, if you calculate the, uh, tangent of the angle or the sine of the angle you're going to get the same thing so what we'll do here is we'll say uh, tangent is opposite over adjacent and so we'll say 2 divided by 173 is 0 0.0115 and let's uh, calculate the inverse tangent of that so we'll go 0 0.662 degrees Now let's do the same thing, and we'll do 2 divided by 173 equals 0 0.0115, that's the same, and uh, as before when we did the division, so just checking the math. Now we'll do the inverse sine of that, and we get 0 0.662 degrees, so college was right. At small angles sine and tangent are the same so 0.662 degrees toe in is what we got so that's the uh, total toe in angle and to get um, for each wheel you just divide by two so basically each wheel is uh, about 0.33 degrees toed in so you're probably wondering why I wanted to calculate total toe angle at, and got 0.66 degrees and and didn't really care so much about each individual wheels angle you know you take the angle whose 
tangent is 1.75 over 173 for the left, and then for the right, 0.25 over 173, and then find the angle whose ta tangent is that. Yeah, I could have done that separately, but the reason I wanted to total toe angle on this truck is because this bar that goes from this tie rod end all the way over to that tie rod end sets the total toe angle between the two wheels first. And then to uh, set the uh, steering wheel centered, you, you adjust the drag link. So the alignment was out of spec. The maximum toe in was 0.15 degrees. And this, this was at 0.66 degrees towed in. And the reason was a bad outer tie rod end. And so we're gonna replace that. 